Colorado lawmakers are considering a new bill which could change the way some murder charges are filed. KRDO News Channel 13's Jen Moynihan is live outside the El Paso County Courthouse with those details. Jen. Heather Bard, a person could be sentenced here to life in prison on felony murder charges without actually killing someone. Now, one state lawmaker from Colorado Springs is working to change that. Criminal justice reform is top of mind for some lawmakers this legislative session. To me, it's a clear injustice. State Senator Pete Lee from Colorado Springs is sponsoring a bill which would reduce penalties under Colorado's current felony murder law. Felony murder is a... Um, I would say archaic relic of the old English law where people were uh, capital punishment was imposed for virtually any crime. Lee says his goal is to make the punishment more proportional with the seriousness of the crime for each defendant involved. Under the current law in Colorado, a person can be considered guilty of first degree murder, felony murder, if anyone dies in the course of the commission of a robbery citing a two-person robbery as one example. The person who used the weapon and killed someone is guilty of felony murder, but so is the person sitting in the car. If passed, his bill would reduce the penalty from life without parole to anywhere between 16 to 48 years in jail. Not be retroactive, it would be uh, forward-looking. And inevitably impact state revenue. When people go to prison for life without parole, it costs the state forty-five to $50,000 and uh, that's year in, year out, every year. But opponents argue reducing the sentence could also have the opposite effect on deterring these types of crimes. Lee disagrees. That most criminals don't think they're gonna get caught and most criminals don't know what the penalties are. Now, the bill recently passed committee with a vote of four to one. It now heads to the full Senate for consideration as early as next week. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Jen Moynihan, Cardio News Channel 13. All right, Jen, thank you. Despite some counties in Colorado moving to level green on the COVID-19 dial this week, southern Colorado numbers remain steady. Here's the latest check on numbers in our community. The state reports 177 new cases in El Paso County. Pueblo County has 26 new cases as well. Teller County reports five of its own, and Fremont County reports four more cases. Fremont has reclassified one death to no longer be linked to that county. Otherwise, no COVID-19 deaths in Southern Colorado today. The state positivity rate dropped to 3.16%. Tonight, growing pains at the new COVID-19 vaccine site in Pueblo. Wait times have grown significantly since the move from the mall to the much larger state fairgrounds. KRDO News Channel 13's Dan Beatty